Okay, welcome everyone to another one of my Blender tutorials and uh, as I've always stated, I've tried to find something really different uh, for doing a Blender tutorial, other things that other people haven't covered. And what I'm going to show you how today, show you how to make today is uh, it's a, what I call a, uh, gee whiz, what is that called? A, a sword, a sword of sorts. And I'll show you how to make that. Um, <coughs> a scimitar. A scimitar shaped sword is what I'm going to try to show you how to make. So anyway, we're going to delete the cube here. And uh, <clears throat> I went over this a couple times. I wanted to make sure you could uh, get, uh, sh I'll show you what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use base area curves to make the uh, sword and the handle. So I'll demonstrate how I do that. And what it does, it gives you a really smooth, uh, very, uh, you know, no, no, not too many facets, and uh, you can control the shape of the blade and the curve of the blade and the profile of the blade. So we're going to show you how to do that. And uh, what I'm going to start off by adding at first is I'm going to add a, uh, I'm going to add a path, and this path is going to be our sword path, is what I'm going to call it. I'm going to go to the object data menu. And we're going to call this sword path, like so. And then right below here, I'm going to add a, uh, I'm going to add a, uh, a base area or just a circle, a base area circle. And we're going to rotate that, rotate that uh, X by 90 so we can see it. This is going to be our sword profile. And then up here, I'm going to add a base area curve, like so. And we're going to rotate that. X by 90 degrees, and we'll move in right here, size it up a little bit. So we got these three objects. Uh, let me let me name that. This is going to be the sword curve. And for some reason, I don't know why it doesn't change the name in the outline. Oh, it does. Okay. The base area circle is going to be the sword profile. So we can kind of keep these things in order. And as always, I'm going to go ahead and save my file as uh, Scimitar Demo. So, just in case. So, to start off with, we got our, uh, we want to work on the uh, profile. And we'll go into edit mode for this base circle. And go over here to the curves. And what I want to do is I want to lower the. Uh, <coughs> We can take it up to two, I think, what I did earlier. And we'll uh, zoom in on this. Keep it in the eye. What I want to do is, let's add another. There we go, now. Now, some little trick I learned from another tutorial. <coughs> I've watched a lot of them. Uh, when the scale, scale points down, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to select we already got we got this one, and we're going to select. Uh, we have to subdivide this. Okay, we're going to go back on our subdivision, and then we're going to subdivide. Got to select all of them. Uh, <coughs> going to subdivide this one. Okay, so I can get these two points here. So we're going to select this point or this node. And this one and this one and we're going to scale Z and we're going to zero and that will kind of flatten it out but what I also need to do here is convert all these to vectors by hitting V and that will make this top flat like so so that's gonna be the top profile of a sword now I want to get these points in here and scale X and I want to do convert this to a vector because I want to have a sharp point on my sword. And we're going to grab these two, scale X. That's going to give us a uh, kind of a. Uh, here we're going to scale X up here also. So you can see when we get out of edit mode, we got a good point here, a good sword profile. 
and we got a little bit of an edge here uh, maybe I can go back and change these to vectors to make these corners sharp okay so now we've got a definite edge to our sword so that's going to be our sword profile now we want to go up here to our path and <coughs> We want to go down here and use a bevel object, and we want to use the sword profile. So now, we've got a really thick one there, but uh, we can uh, edit that. We can scale it in the Y, thin it down a little bit. Or actually, if you want to, you can, uh, you can go in here and scale X on the profile itself, and those changes will reflect up here. So... Now we've got our sword edge. Now we want to taper this to a point. So this is what I found out. You can use just this regular old Bezier curve and go over here, select this, and just say sword curve. Now the problem is it, it, it kind of uh, flattens out a little bit, but you can edit the curve here. You can go into edit mode here, and you can change this. And now we've got a really nice pointy sword there. And uh, <coughs> so, <coughs> so you want kind of like a scimitar shape. So what we do here is we go in, and now oh, we'll stop there. You can go here, and you still have this curve attached to this uh, shape, but it hasn't been turned into a mesh yet. You can go in your tab key. You uh, go into edit mode, and want to select three of these points. Hold down the shift key. And then you can just go down to Z so you can get that curved shape for your scimitar shape. And uh, that's basically what I want to show you. I'm still having, uh, haven't worked. I can, you can do the handle the same way by setting up a uh, <coughs> another path. What I've been doing here is I'm keeping everything uh, in a in the uh, Bezier curve mode, and uh, what I did is I made you can. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how I did this. Okay, we'll go ahead and make the uh, handle real quick. But I'm keeping everything in the Bezier mode until I get really get settled on the uh, mesh I want. And uh, so what you can do here, you can drag out and you can add another path. I'm gonna deselect everything. I'm gonna add another path, like uh, <coughs> this regular path here. And we'll kind of move it out to the side here. And we'll call this, um, we'll go into the uh, <coughs> object data. <coughs> and we'll call this path, uh, handle path. Like so. Okay. And then we'll make another, uh, we'll add another, uh, another circle. Like so. And uh, <coughs> can go into the curve data and go to edit mode. And what I did essentially was I got this down to a rectangle. And I'll zoom in on that. Oh, we got to turn it. Uh, rotate it x 90 degrees. There you go. So you got this uh, diamond shape. Uh, what I did is once I uh, for some reason, when I left the edit mode and I rotated it about the Y and hit control, now it looks like it looks square there. I mean, it looks like it's, you know, up and down square. <coughs> but when I went over here to the bevel object, and uh, where's my handle path? Okay. Okay, it's going to be this other circle. I don't know why. Ah. Go to the handle path. Hey, this circle is not being renamed. <coughs> or maybe I didn't rename it. 
So that's Bayesian circle. This is Bayesian circle. Okay, we're gonna call this handle profile. Okay, now handle path. <coughs> hmm. A little issue here. Handle profile. Handle path. <coughs> well, I'm going to turn this into a uh, mesh for the time being. Seems like uh, for some reason I'm having trouble. That's not the one I want. Maybe if I select them both. Nope, that's not it either. Okay. We'll get rid of these other ones. This should isolate it. Okay, this for some reason it's not it's not renaming. Oh I didn't, I didn't put it on okay, there we go. I didn't rename it. Okay. So uh, we've got a handle path and we want to go in a curve data handle profile. And it didn't do right. I think I made a mistake here. Okay, that's what I did. We're going to delete that one too. We're going to add another path. Oh, da -da 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 -da. I got mixed up there. I apologize for that. Now, we're going to obligate This is the handle path. All right. Now we'll go to curve data. And we're going to use handle profile. Oh, what is going on here? <coughs> well, I got the uh, first one right. Yeah, okay. We'll get this right here eventually. Why, why, why not? We're going to try something else. We're going to try adding the base area curve. Okay, and We'll call this a handle path. Okay. There we go. Well, <laughs> I don't know what the difference is there. I don't know why it didn't. Uh, it's still not doing it right. Okay, what we'll do is we'll rotate this by the Z. Now, well, I don't 
don't know what quite what the problem is there. I delete this one. We'll just try a normal circle. Maybe because I had the resolution so low. I don't know. <coughs> anyway. We'll try this. Okay, we got something there. I don't understand what it was. That's going to drive me nuts. Uh, so anyway, after a long one of mistakes, and yes, and a why, we've got a handle here. And of course, since it's still in the Bezier curve mode, you can... Uh, play with it here and uh, maybe get something more of a curve shape there. So anyway, I hope that helps. Even though I really stumbled around, I wasn't quite ready with this. But um, <coughs> you can move your handle up here and you might want to rotate it uh, by the Y. Like so. And uh, bring it in the line here and you got more for I don't know a play knife <laughs> oh you want to cap the end some cap the end right there anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I don't know I'm just kind of stumbling through things right now it seemed like uh, I'm really trying to find other things to do in blender that other people haven't covered and I fit, felt this fit the bill so thanks for watching the video and I'll be doing some more